We want to create a low poly effect using a photograph. Let's bring our photograph into Illustrator. Now let's go to view and select show grid. Now I'm gonna do this low poly effect using creating triangles on the basic forms of my photograph. So I will try to fit my photograph in a size that I like my triangles to be but let's see how to do it let's bring the opacity down of the photograph a little bit and of course because this is a very painful procedure we'll create half of the face and flip it the rest of it now let's go to another very important thing for the tutorial is to go to view and go to snap to grid this way I will always try to view snap to grid I will always create things that snap on the grid now let's move our photograph around in the middle let's deselect snap to grid You snap to grid. Now let's try to let's rename this layer back and lock it and create a new layer and call it triangles. Let's select a yellow stroke, for example. the 0.5 weight now the low poly effect is just a, an abstract version of the original image so we'll try to imagine what would we like to keep and what to lose so let's begin with the eyes I'll try to create my rectangle here my first then here then here and this will be my basic I can also do this to create my basic I also want, don't want edges to my triangle so I deselect these paths here let's say my I will be this one now because I want the eye, because I consider the eyes a really important thing in an illustration, I will uh, create many triangles in this area because the eyes are so important. Now let's say this is okay. Let's create the, eye, the eyebrow. Now you can see here, this is a little bit difficult. But we won't bother that much. We'll create an abstract version of the eyebrow. Of course, I can scale my photograph differently in the grid and create a more precise illustration or a less one depending on the result I want let's do this one let's say this is our eyebrow now let's fill our gaps very precise area here so I can play a little bit with bigger triangles also here now let's say this area I don't consider it 
really important so I can create a really big triangle oops sorry let's erase that because I think I can get away with it without even bothering I have created my half face and if I press command Y you can see I have a pretty complex artwork so I press command Y again now I will just create a background for my image so as you can see I have many very many triangles bigger and smaller and I will create a background now the triangles of my background doesn't don't have to be big but depending on I have done here I will create my background of course this is a technique that needs practice to master and especially to develop where is the right spot to create a triangle say it will be somewhere here triangles are not necessary you can also use other uh, shapes but it's better to have to be consistent it gives a more organized outcome and so on now let's do one little more I select my triangle and I click here I try to pick up a middle color from this triangle here now this I want to be my eyebrow so I will take colors press command 3 to hide this one click on the next one and command alt 3 so I will try to pick colors from the eyebrows command 3 command alt 3 command 3 command alt 3 Command Alt 3. Command 3 to hide. Command Alt 3. Command 3 to hide. Command Alt 3 to bring up again. Select my triangle, Oop. command Alt 3. As you can see, my eyebrow isn't that nice. So I'll make some arrangement here to remind me a little more about my eyebrow and I think this is okay for now I 
I forgot to mention before that uh, I restored the opacity of the original image so I, can, I will be able to pick with the eyedropper the uh, original colors. So I have gone a little far here and I continue to do the same thing. I select my triangle, my eyedropper, command 3 to hide it, select, keep the, select the next one, command alt 3 to bring it back. Command 3, command alt 3. Command 3, select, Command Alt 3. Command 3, Command Alt 3. Command 3, Command Alt 3. And I'm starting to having my face here very close to what I really wanted. Of course, this technique needs practice to master where to add a polygon or a triangle, in this case, in order to have a nice illustration at the end. This is a tutorial, so I'm not very precise on this one right now. I'm just showing the basic techniques on what to do. At this point, I am almost there. So now let's hide our man to see what we have here. Now let's select all our polygons. Press Command C, Command F to place them in place, and go here and reflect them vertically. And now I have a mirror image of my illustration. And you can always take it a step further in Photoshop, but you have your basic vector shapes here and you can do it and scale it down or up as much as you like. And now let's take a little bit a step further our illustration. I will select all this, copy it, and here in Photoshop I have this rustic te texture here and I will paste my illustration in here. I will also crop my image. And now I will unlock this layer. I will multiply my image. I will press this layer, scale it a little bit to have this. I will create a new layer and fill it with white. Alt delete because white is a foreground color. I will multiply this also. I will desaturate it a little bit. and press command M for Keros and increase its contrast. I don't want all those black areas here. And now we've added a little bit of life to it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.